Hi, welcome to Wonder Zone. I'm James, a learning specialist with Cincinnati Museum Center, and today we're going to learn about rocket engines. Now, for this experiment, you only need a few things. You're going to need a film canister. Now, you can find these still at some photo supply stores, but you can also generally find them at Target or Walmart. They still sell them there. And then you will need Alka Seltzer tablets or effervescent tablets and water. What we're doing is we're going to create a very simple chemical reaction. Now, if you want to fly in an atmosphere, you use lift. You use the atmosphere around you to fly. But once you get up to space, there's no atmosphere anymore. So you need to have something to create that reaction. And rockets use chemicals to do that. What they do is you have your fuel, which could be, you know, type A and type B. And we might mix those fuels together and they create a reaction. So let's say this is my rocket here. My fuels mix up in here and they react and they create thrust that flies out of the back of that rocket. And as that thrust is pushing down that way, it is also pushing up against the rocket and that's what makes it fly up in the air. And we're going to do that using just water and Alka-Seltzer. So what you want to do, take your film canister and you're going to fill it just a little bit with water, maybe a third of the way up. Then take your Alka-Seltzer tablets and you're going to crack it and you're going to do a quarter of a tablet. Now, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to drop the Alka-Seltzer in the water and then immediately put the film canister's cap on it, cap it tightly, and turn it upside down and set it down. Then I want to back up, because what's going to happen is the Alka-Seltzer is going to react with the water, and I'm going to start it now. Let's shake. That Alka-Seltzer and the water are reacting. When the Alka-Seltzer dissolves, it creates a gas called carbon dioxide. Now that gas is going to fill up the film canister. Eventually, there's not going to be enough room in the canister for both the gas and the water, and it's going to force the water out against the cap, pop the cap off, just like that, and away my rocket goes. So it's a little bit different than how our fuels are reacting, but the principle is the same. I created a chemical reaction, it pushed down, my thrust pushed back up against the rocket, and away I go. Pop the cap off. Guys, thank you so much for watching today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to come and see us for our Mission Aerospace exhibition opening on May 25th. And as always, come see us every week for more Wonder Zone videos and fun.